eLearning Jamaica Limited, in association with the Ministry of Education and Z Jamaica Limited, present a series of e-learning videos geared towards preparing students for CXC examinations. This series focuses on information technology and highlights areas considered most challenging to our students. There are 11 videos, each lasting approximately 20 minutes. Your narrator, Michael Anthony Cuff. Learning Outcome At the end of this section, you will be able to Define Information Processing Uses of Information Processing Types of Information Processes Do you realize that we are living in an age of information where everything around us is powered by technology? Well, because of this, it is crucial that everyone learns about computers. As a matter of fact, computers are all around us, and we use it in ways we may not be conscious of. Yes, computers are present in automobiles, cash registers, and used extensively in banking, medicine, and business. What is information processing? Information processing refers to the breakdown and organization of information or data by one or more computer software. Information processing is used a lot in such career fields as business, engineering, and science, and in every career in which computers are used. Information processing are used in many ways by businesses and engineers. Many local businesses like the tax office, banks, and supermarkets use information processing for such tasks as payroll preparation, accounting, record keeping, inventory control, sales analysis, and the processing of bank and credit card account statements. Engineers as well as scientists also use information processing for processing geological information to guide their search for oil and minerals. Engineers also use it to design and analyze new products, to process satellite imagery, and to analyze data from scientific experiments. Types of Processing batch processing, transaction processing, distributed processing, interactive online processing, real-time processing. Batch processing is the processing of a large amount of data in small groups. This can be scheduled to start automatically using a specialized software or manually. Automatic batch jobs are best done during the evening or at nights when the computer and any peripheral device required is idle because when a batch job begins, it does not stop until it is all done or until an error occurs. Batch processing can be programmed to be executed at nights when the employees have gone home because it does not require any interaction with the user while the program is being executed. Batch processing is used by the credit card departments of banks to process billing. The customer does not receive a bill for each separate credit card purchase. Instead, all the data are collected and held until the end of the billing cycle and processed as a batch, creating one monthly bill for all of that month's purchases. Transaction Processing Transaction processing refers to interaction between two computers, where one computer initiates a transaction and the other computer provides the data or computation required for the first computer to complete the function that the customer wants completed, such as withdrawal, account balances or deposits. 
This kind of processing takes place every day at such places as an ATM automatic teller machine. When you insert your bank card to make a transaction, the computer at the ATM engages the computer at the bank to get information about your account so it can complete your transaction. You see, transaction processing occurs every time you need to immediately view or add information to your account. The computer accesses and update the databases on the computer where the information is stored and provides you with an instant summary report of activity and account status. Other examples of transaction processing occurs at credit sales terminals and airline reservation systems. Distributed processing. Distributed processing is when the processing is shared between many computers on a network and the results are combined when all the processing has been completed. Interactive online processing. We use interactive processing when we book tickets for airlines, hotels, and cinema, or even in computer games played on the Internet. Interactive or online processing means that data is processed by more than one computer in a network when it is entered. The user then waits for a short time to get a response. Real-time processing. Real-time processing is used for such tasks requiring immediate response, such as navigation of airplanes, boats, and cars, during which the computer must react to a steady flow of new information without interruption. Most general-purpose operating systems are not real-time because they can take a few seconds or even minutes to react. Real-time processing is also used in hospitals to monitor patients in critical condition or used to administer drugs in situations where dosages must be altered in response to a change in vital signs. In an air traffic control monitoring system, the display must be updated immediately the direction, speed, or height of the plane is altered. Let's review. Information processing refers to the breakdown and organization of information or data by one or more computer software. Types of processing, batch processing, transaction processing, distributed processing, interactive online processing, real-time processing. Batch processing is the processing of a large amount of data in small groups. This can be scheduled to start automatically using a specialized software or manually. Transaction processing refers to interaction between two computers where one computer initiates a transaction and the other computer provides the data or computation required for the first computer to complete the function that the customer wants completed, such as withdrawal, account balances or deposits. Distributed processing is when the processing is shared between many computers on a network and the results are combined when all the processing has been completed. Interactive or online processing means that data is processed by more than one computer in a network when it is entered. The user then waits for a short time to get a response. Real-time processing is used for such tasks requiring immediate response, such as navigation of airplanes, boats, and cars, during which the computer must react to a steady flow of new information without interruption. Most general-purpose operating systems are not real-time because they can take a few seconds or even minutes to react.